Alright. Good evening. Welcome to day two of my Earth and Might Druid build. We're just trying to do the side quests. Everything else is kind of a secondary concern. So, I have to just keep checking and seeing what's available and So that's not available. So I'm guess I will go and do this. Find a brutal outgrowth. So already back to Ked. Bar do I go? I'm just gonna keep progressing the main quest and then coming back and checking on the side quest. I guess fun. It's my Earth and Might build. Lucky hit. Damaging enemies with earth skills has up to a 5% chance to restore all of my spirit or cause and cause my attacks to be guaranteed critical strikes for 5 seconds. This chance is increased by 10%, so when I do a critical strike, it increases it by 10%, and it increases it by another 10% if the target is stunned, immobilized, or knocked back. So, obviously I focus on earth skills, I focus on increasing critical strikes and lucky hit chance, and uh, most importantly, that stunned, immobilized, or knocked back, and the reason for that is my earth skills all have a, uh, so stun, increased chance to stun, <coughs> and then, uh, I gain fortification uh, any time it damages enemies that are stunned, immobilized, or knocked back. Now we have this. After landslide damages enemies four times, the next hit will immobilize enemies for three seconds. So again, immobilize. When you immobilize or stun an enemy, you gain a Terramote. Each enemy hit by landslide consumes one of those, causing a guaranteed critical strike. So again, 40% bosses always have up to a 10% chance to grant one when hit. So. There you go. Um, idea being that increases my chances of a critical strike when an immobilizer stuns an enemy. So it just everything's about increasing the chance of that uh, passive to go off there. Uh, this gives me my barrier. Uh, makes me unstoppable, which is almost a must. And then uh, increased fortification. So that's mostly uh, defensive stuff there and then I have my raven companions they just fly around attacking things and I can send a swarm of them to attack stuff and then here every time I have a 5% increased critical strike chance against enemies after they are hit by ravens so again, increase my critical strike chance, increases the chance of my passive activating. And this just increases the uh, ravens, which again will increase my critical strike, again increase my chance of my passive activating, and I haven't earned enough points to, to get down to these trees yet. It's a long road ahead. I am only level 5. Let's go progress the main quest in the hopes that I will activate the the next uh, side quest that I'm trying to do. Try and do them in order so that I can keep track of them. There are other side quests I could do, but then uh, I'll probably lose track of what I'm doing. Or 
where the fuck am I going? I'm trying to go down here. And I'm going backwards because a little out of practice. We went to Oregon for four days, so. This is going to be a short video. Or if I want to go two-handed. I was thinking one-handed with the totem. That's what I'm leaning towards. Just have a look at the skills again here. Oop, close. Alright. So, my main skill is this earth spike. So let's go. I'm just gonna spam it on these guys a few times and that's earth spike. That's what that is. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. But it does fortify me. You can see that fortify thing pop up there. This is my secondary, my, uh, what's called my, um, not secondary. I think it's called Avalanche. I, I'm trying to remember. Alright. Alright. So, going back to abilities here. Um, my... Core skill is what I was looking for. It's called landslide, not avalanche. Landslide. So that's that's that uh, skill I was just using back there. Okay. I think I want to put points just into my. Yeah, there's no passive skills I want. from any of these areas, so I am just going to continue putting points to my defensive skill for now, because I am playing hardcore. It's permadeath is a thing, so we're going to increase points in Earth and Bulwark. That's going to increase my barrier. It is currently at 54%, now it's at 58. And it's almost maxed out. Next time it will be at 63. All right, so I've got Earth Spikes, which is this skill, Earth Spikes, and then I've got Landslide, which is that one. And then I have my Ravens, and that's them. They create this little Raven uh, tornado there. It's just what? Like, I feel like a magical landslide should be more impressive than a. Uh, oh, there's my uh, defensive skill in action. He had stunned me, so I spawned it to break free of the stun using the um, unstoppable feature of the thing. This malignant. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I'm thinking just, yeah, just maybe. I've done two of the side quests so far, and I think what I'm going to do is go. I might go here actually and do the side quests up in this region and then just keep track of them.
uh, using Twitch basically just take just save the highlights or whatever as here I am doing a side quest alright so there's a side quest here That arrangement I made went awry, and I was extorted by the ruffian Laskus for protection. He's camped somewhere near the pass to the northwest. Return the gemstones he stole, and I'll make it worth your while. All right. this character I might actually just make my own list of which order I do the side quests in. Pretty easy side quest there. Go back down here and so the deed is done. Hey. All right, and that gives me level eight and a cache of herbs. So, I think I'm going to do Boulder. Yep. So, on Earth small lucky hit chance but under a large rolling boulder that repeatedly knocks back enemies so knock back yep is one of the three things done to mobilize or knocked back so that actually will increase triggering this ability by 10% The thing I like is the cause my critical strikes to be guaranteed for five seconds piece of it. But it's not, this it, is just not a very, it's not a very good build, in my opinion. I'm just, uh, this is my completionist thing that I'm doing where I just want to do every single possible key passive. Um,. So there's nothing available here now. There's Boulder. Oh, wow, that's. Oh, but it has a cooldown. That's. This one over here. Oh yeah, this is the specifically the axe of the woodsman, a man who stopped and butchered travelers in this area. All right, don't need to go through all that. Um, let's go ahead and set that as my tracked quest. And then I need to go up here and get the axe. All right. Get this axe. Now this guy pops up. I could have done that beforehand.
Back to the desk. It must have been a grim place. All right. So. Now he's going to give me a dungeon side quest. Side quest to find his brother. The easiest one to do is this one. That's the cleansing flame. I'm going to go ahead and blacksmith my stuff. Let's go take care of this one. This is um, this this is one of those quests where it can either go really smoothly or it can be a bit tricky. Probably should have grabbed that extra health potion. Ah. This one's mostly tricky when the uh, the tree guys come. Not too bad. So, uh, yeah, that increases the chances of stunning, which again feeds into this. He says, if the target is stunned, immobilized, or knocked back. So yeah, we're going to go with this one. This is a long quest. This will probably be the last one I do tonight. Not very devout, but he wouldn't do something like that. I want to look for him, but the woods are dangerous. Could I perhaps hire you as a bodyguard? Yes. Right. So I just gotta go talk to some people, which is a little boring.
Yeah, I'll do it for the night. I'm going to start off with the uh, Legacies of Light's Watch quest t uh, tomorrow. And that will, uh, it's a dungeon. So that will be the first dungeon this character completes. That's usually the first dungeon any character completes because it's one of the first quests I get. Um, it's not a terribly difficult dungeon, not a terribly difficult boss fight. It's a big werewolf guy. Uh, I should... By Thursday I should get my Druid's quest which will involve taking out a stronghold, so that'll be kind of entertaining. Hopefully I survive it. Um, so anyway, yep, signing off.